They are among Japan's most famous global brands, more familiar as the makers of televisions, washing machines or cars. Less well known, even in Japan, is that they also make military equipment. Mitsubishi makes fighter jets and missiles for Japan's self-defense force. Electronics firm Toshiba makes military-grade batteries. Subaru military helicopters. Daikin, better known for its air conditioning units, has a side business producing munitions. Now the government wants Japan's industrial giants to ramp up production of military equipment. Tokyo is boosting defense spending by $315 billion over the next four years. It's a response to China's militarization and aggression in the East China Sea. But Japan's effort to boost its national defense industry is struggling, according to a recent Reuters report. A ban on exporting military equipment was only lifted in 2014. Very few Japanese defense companies sell overseas. For the Japanese defense companies, the self-defense forces are the only uh, buyer. So it's not so easy for those companies to make profits by making weapons. Uh, and because of that, uh, several particularly smaller uh, companies are now uh, going uh, away from those defense uh, industries. More than 100 Japanese companies have left the defense sector over the past 20 years. Heavy reliance on foreign uh, companies uh, is not so uh, good uh, in terms of uh, the supply chain resiliency. So the Japanese government decided to give subsidiary to those Japanese defense companies who are uh, suffering. And by doing so, we, we are trying to uh, maintain our indigenous uh, defense uh, build-up capabilities. Japan, Italy and Britain are jointly developing a new fighter jet program. Meanwhile, Tokyo recently issued guidelines to harmonize equipment with US and European standards. The US alliance is the cornerstone of Japanese defense and it's vital that Japan buys the right equipment, says Grant Newsham, a retired US Marine colonel and diplomat and former liaison to the Japan Self-Defense Force. What hardware do you need? What resources do you need? What capabilities do you need to defend your country? What do you need to fit in with the Americans to make this a real joint effort? So I don't know that that thinking has been done. For decades, most Japanese have opposed increased military spending. A recent poll shows slightly more than 40% of voters want to expand the self-defense forces, up from 29% five years ago. Reuters reported that Japan's industrial giants are likely wary of tarnishing their brand among consumers by expanding into military production. Japan's government is trying to adapt to a rapidly changing security environment, but it must also convince the Japanese people that these profound changes are urgent and necessary. Henry Richwell for VOA News, Tokyo.